hello guys yeah welcome back to lydia tv show and it's your girl lydia as you all know in today's video it's all about two face and his wife annie so guys to all my returning subscribers i want to say thank you very much for passing by thank you for always commenting and for the thumbs up please if you're new here do consider to subscribe and turn on the notification button so that whenever i upload new videos you'll be the first to be notified so guys today video blessing speak up about this two-faced marriage issue and she said a lot of things i will drop the video here so that you will tell us if this video that she said makes sense or not she said men need helper most women have the power to multitask that is why men always project some men always project marriage to most of us so that we can come in and help them maybe taking care of their family cleaning up his own family and so on and so forth and most of these men also makes us we women to stop our career to stop our education and to stop so many things because they want to overcome or be above us so now she also said a lot of things here that Annie have really tried because it's not easy to marry a man with many children. That's a baby daddy. Not one, not two, not three babies. He has seven children. So five with baby mamas, with two baby mamas and two with his wife, Annie. So she also said a submissive woman is not a hungry woman. Now woman, where they hungry, they always be submissive for some kind way because she has no choice because she is taking a lot from you the chicken change that you have given her that is what is making her submissive but if you see powerful women who are submissive give them galong because it's not easy for a powerful woman to be submissive so and annie has really tried a lot for the day they started dating up to the marriage she has been submissive before this thing came out now the way uh, some of we see this thing if it was actually in our own shoe what annie went through we wouldn't have gone through it's not easy for a lady to get married to a man with five children outside but because of love she did that many of us if we put ourselves in her shoe we won't even have gotten married to two face and that's true so annie will stay survive without two face no matter what so because she's very powerful and she can take care of herself so that is when you know when somebody is submissive to you when there is what cap what is cap money so two face actually is facing what karma most of us and she said is the consequences of the choice he made now another write up on facebook is that two face brother said Annie is using fetish on him. Blessing Okoye, the international motivational speaker, let me put her international because she's everywhere and she's known, said fetish is wrong, that Annie is not using it because people who use fetish actually put their husband in what? In bottles. So how come is uh, Two-Faced unfaithful to Annie when she is using fetish on him definitely proving a point that annie is not using fetish on him so that is why he is on faithful let the brother of two face stop this kind of of things now these are the children of two face he has seven kids the first one uh, the first baby mama is a uh, sombo ajaba she has two boys called zion and nino and the second baby mama has three children a girl that's worse and two boys innocent and justice why annie has two children two girls with him now guys i'm going to drop the video talking about uh, uh, the video that blessing was talking a lot of things inside please do not forget to drop your comment at the comment section to know if actually what she said is right or wrong she is a marriage counselor and so on and so forth so please don't forget to drop your comment after watching this video even the network does not want me to be great hmm. i finished doing almost a 15 minutes live video 
and it disappeared. I have changed my network. My name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO. I want to talk about Anima Calling and Two Faces Marriage. A lot of people have been asking me to put me out inside this matter. Blessing took me out inside this matter, you're a relationship expert. And I'm taking me out inside this matter. Okay? Now, hold on, I quickly want to paint the topic. A quick one. Many of you will come and say, Blessing, look, mind your business, mind your business, mind your business, shut up your mouth. Anything that leaves your private life and come on the social media is our business. Your business is our business. The moment you can no longer privatize it, it has leaked. It is now our business. So first of all, before I start this video, I want to say something. I'm a fan of Two-Face. I'm a fan of Two-Face. Right from childhood, Two-Face is my crush. If it's a celebrity crush for guys, Two-Face. I love Annie Macaulay, but I love Two-Face more. Because right from um, childhood, Two-Face is the one that has been making me feel like an African queen. So this message is not coming out of hate. I don't hate anybody. I'm being factual. Now, before we start to analyze the message that leak, there's a message that is going all over social media that Annie Macaulay is fetish. Um, the brother came and wrote that Annie Macaulay did this one. Annie Macaulay did that one. Let's first of all try, start by saying, Annie Macaulay, wherever you are beautiful, I give you full chest. You are a woman, you be. You try. You try to marry two faces, Dibia, with so much baggage. Baby girl, you try. And you've been there for how many years? Kudos to you, my darling. I give it to you. Now, woman, you be take, 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 take her for a year. First thing first, let's quickly analyze the story. This is the story that we know, not the one that we don't know. You know, we don't really know what happened in the marriage. And to add, everything that is happening in two faces and an Immaculate's marriage is normal. Marriage is meant, is meant to be bad boys. There is meant to be misunderstanding. So what is happening in their marriage is normal. The reason why I'm putting mouth inside this matter is because I'm seeing some comments that is irritating my stomach. That's the reason why I decided to address it. First of all, before Two-Face had different baby mamas, best known to him, hmm? and Macaulay was in the picture. And Macaulay was in the picture, this man was sleeping around with different women, like I said, best known to him. He did not just sleep with them. He slept with them without condom and impregnated them. It's okay. No problem. Annie Macaulay still loved him. He still went back to Annie Macaulay. I don't know what he told Annie Macaulay. Annie Macaulay accepted him and said, okay, I've loved you from the beginning. I'm going to love you for who you are. Annie Macaulay loved Two-Face, married Two-Face with all his dirty baggages. <laughs> Some of you women cannot even stand your man and your boyfriend with ordinary girlfriend, side chick. Imagine baby mamas. Not one, not two. Not three. Good. Small side chick, you don't drink sniper. Small cheating, you don't kill yourself. Small chats, just hello, dear. Some of you have died. Small chats, you don't screw your husband for one day. Imagine what Annie Macaulay had gone through for years having these baby mamas around. Remember, I said we are analyzing this story based on the gist that we know. Nobody will not know. Good. So that's the reason why I'm giving Annie Macaulay to um kudos. Now everybody's saying Annie Macaulay is fetish. Two faces brother came to write that Annie Macaulay is fetish. Annie Macaulay did this one. Annie Macaulay did that one. And there was a statement he said. He said, Two faces suffering and two faces dying. Really? So, two faces suffering and two faces dying. So, you're trying to make the public feel that Annie Macaulay wants to kill him. Everything two faces Dibia is going through today is the consequences of his choices and mistakes. If Two Face is my brother or my friend, I will tell him, see, Oga, anything where they do you today for your marriage, now your karma. When you men are sleeping around with different women, what do you used to expect will happen to you? There are consequences to it. So any consequences that Two Face is suffering today, it is the things that he did. Leave an Macaulay Dibia alone. That woman has tried. If she decides to say today that she's not doing again, kudos to her because she has tried in that marriage. You say fetish, and Macaulay is fetish. You hear that Macaulay is fetish. Two Face Dibia's brother is saying that Macaulay is fetish. If Annie Macaulay was truly fetish, Two Face with Dibia would not be unfaithful. If Annie Macaulay is truly fetish, Two Face with Dibia would not be sleeping around. 
fetish women used to put men inside bottle fetish women control men fetish women control their men's manhood and their men's sexual libidos so she no fetish for those of you saying why is anima called staying with her mother i'm talking based on the rumor that we are seeing why is anima calling staying with her mother why is anima calling staying with her mother why wouldn't she stay with her mother her mother is the only one she trusts even me right now i see my mother every day if i have an opportunity of my mother coming to live with me she will be there so because i'm living with my mother i'm fetish who am i supposed to live with when my mother is old as a woman i'm supposed to take care of my mother who else will take care of my mother if not me why am i making this video i'm making this video to tell you societal idiots that when a man starts to suffer for the consequences of the mistakes that he made and the choices that he made, that time he was sleeping around with women and he was acting smart. He was forming Jagaban. He had 65 women around him. When he starts to face the consequences, stop blaming women. Women have tried, though. A lot of women have tried. A lot of women have tried with baggage. They carry men's baggage. You cheat, she's there. You give her STD, she's there. You do all the nonsense you are doing, she's there when the consequences of your mistakes and your actions come or okay, face it don't call us and it's what in woman 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 he used juju two faces divya is suffering two faces divya is suffering for the consequences of all his mistakes the bad choices that he made that's what he's suffering for he has no business with anima collie exactly remember i used to teach you guys about choices and mistake you can't keep making choices, bad choices. You can't keep going around and sleeping with different girls. You go to Edo, you will sleep. Calabar, you will sleep. You will go to Congo, you will sleep. You go to South Africa, you sleep. You are sharing spirit. You are sharing your manhood everywhere. When you begin to diminish in your old age, when the consequences of these things that you have done, spreading your seed around, you start to look for who is chasing you from your village. The wicked woman, how wicked your wife is, how wicked your husband is, how wicked your dad is. My point is, as a man, if you come across this video, whether you like the video or you don't like the video, that's your business. My point is just understand that for everything you have done, for every woman you have sleep, slept with, for all of your baby mamas, for everything you have done, consequences will fit you. Don't blame your wife. Stop blaming women over your choices. Stop blaming women over your mistakes. Because when a woman holds you on the shirt and tell you, baby, don't cheat on me, you will be that. When a woman hold you on the shed and say, baby, don't go, you will beat her. You will say she's controlling you. You do these things at will. When consequences come, suffer it at will. Remember what I told you, dear women. I want to quickly give you an highlight. A lot of men cannot do without you, women. Women are more powerful than men. Do you know why women are more powerful than men? It's not because of money. It's because a woman can multitask. A woman can take care of herself and take care of other people. Her children, her extended family, her relatives, her colleagues. That is, what, that is the power a lot of women have. A lot of men will want to project marriage to you so that you can come and help them. You see this projection of marriage is because a lot of men need help. That's the honest truth. That's the reason why when you leave a man, he goes to another woman. He cannot stay by himself. <laughs> but when you leave a woman, she can stay by herself. The crime that single women committed is the fact that when they leave us, we stay on our own. That is our crime. We stay by ourselves. We stay with our kids. We no longer want men. They will not come to insult us. That insult is a projection of their fear. Men cannot stay by themselves. They will always look for different women to be jumping around. They will be testing, testing. A woman can stay by herself. That is a power a lot of men are scared of. A lot of men are afraid that women are becoming more aware of themselves. A woman is beginning to invest in her careers. She's beginning to take care of her kids. She's beginning to do business. You know, send man again. So each time they see that you're becoming powerful, they project marriage to make you powerless, to weaken you. Dear women, the day you begin to understand that you don't need marriage. Men need us more. <laughs> Why is it that after everything Adam has, God gave Adam everything and Adam could not stay alone. He gave him if. My point is, stop letting men project marriage to you. I am using this video because of some societal idiots. 
I call them societal idiots because societal idiots are men and women, especially women in Africa, that cannot reason. When you are divorced, when you are single, people come and start asking you, why are you single? Why are you not married? Why did you leave the man? I was tired of helping the man. The man was draining me. I left. I decided to start helping myself. That is the meaning of being single. Being single simply means I don't want to help anybody again. Let me help myself. Being single simply means I want to invest my energy in myself. I want to invest my time. And as a woman, if you invest your energy, your time, you, that's why a lot of women are successful. Go and check most successful women. They are single. They are divorced. They have left a man. Many successful women today became successful and powerful the moment they left a man. Why? Because that thing you were doing for a man, you put it inside yourself. You say, man, rest. Let me help myself. That's how powerful you are. I'm not saying you shouldn't get married. I'm not saying marriage is bad. I'm not saying men are bad. I'm only saying stop letting men project marriage to you. Stop letting these men use marriage to threaten you. Stop letting these people make you look as if, oh, you are not married. Eh, eh, that marriage is their fear. A lot of men are scared of being alone. A lot of men are scared of being lonely. A lot of men know that they need help. That's why in a man's old age, when he is rickety, he can no longer eat, he can no longer move. He's looking for a woman that is pushing him around. Some men are marrying you because of security, not because of love. Some men are marrying you because you want, they know that you'll be there for them. They know. That is why they will leave all the independent women. Marry you that will be there for them and be cheating with independent women. A, a lot of men are not marrying you because they love you. A lot of men are marrying you because they can use you. So when they see that they can no longer use you, you have become so powerful and smart, they become angry. Eh, no wonder you're single. <laughs> no wonder you're not married. <laughs> no wonder you're not... Da, 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 da. That's why you see a lot of men, they can attack single women, single powerful women. The only crime a single powerful woman committed is the fact that she decided to be alone. I want to be by myself. But you see, women don't attack single men. If we attack single men, they say we are dead spirits. If we say, Oga, why are you not married? They will say we are dead spirits. We are single on our own. They will say we are not married. Leave us alone. If we decide to create a world for a man and a woman, men will die more than women. Ah, yeah, papa, say the baba. I say men will die more than women because we are built as helpmate, we are built to stay on our own. We are built by ourselves. So I'm also making this video in as much as I'm talking to Annie Macaulay and Two Face. Annie Macaulay and Two Face, if you guys come across this video by mistake, so anywhere you see this video, I want to tell you something, Annie Macaulay. You're a strong woman. I give it to you. I respect you, even though I've never met you before. But trust me, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of your strength. I'm a fan of your zest. I'm a fan of your patience. I'm a fan of your perseverance. I'm a fan of your submissiveness. Because like I used to say, a lot of women are not submissive. A lot of women are just hungry. So they are obeying men that can feed them. A submissive woman is that woman that is powerful. Yet she chose to drop her power to obey a man to submit to a man a submitting woman is not an hungry woman a lot of these women you are marrying are hungry so you are forcing them to submit to you that's the reason why when you do not submit to a man he will withdraw food from you he will withdraw bread from you the only way some women can submit to a man is based on what a man have to give them that is the reason why in relationship and marriage there is no loyalty. Now hunger. A lot of women who think that they are submissive and loyal are hungry women. The real submissive woman is a powerful woman. That woman that has it all but she drops it all to be with a man. That woman that has it all but she drops it all to stand by a man. It simply means that submission is a decision. is a choice. I love you simply means I have everything. I can be by myself. I can take care of myself. But I want you. I want to take care of you. I want to stand by your side. Everything I have, I want to share with you. And that is the meaning of submissiveness. To all these societal idiots that keep thinking that for a woman to be submissive is to be doing like mumu. That is not it. Submissiveness comes with power. If you are not powerful, you cannot test your submissiveness. If you are not powerful, you cannot be submissive. Most of these women you are marrying are hungry women that don't have money to eat. That's the reason why when it's only because of the 2-2-K. That's why you know a powerful woman by the woman who can make a decision when she's disrespected. You pack and go. A lot of women cannot pack and go because of hunger. <laughs> 
that's the reason why when a man marries you when a lot of men marry you they will rip you off of everything that makes you powerful they will rip you off of your career they will rip you off of your passion they will rip you off of your loved ones those people that are encouraging you to move they will stop all your helpers they will not want you to call anybody they will not want anybody to pick your call they will not want you to keep your contact some of them will change your sim card they make you powerless because they understand that when you are powerless that is when you can obey them that's the reason why a lot of men treat you like this they give you peanuts they put you in a box that's not love that's the reason why marriage is scattering and that's the reason why i'm giving it to animacoli idibia animacoli Dibia is a woman that is powerful. She has talent. She has money. She can walk. She has something for herself. One thing I admire about Animakoli Dibia is the fact that she married Two Faced Dibia and she did not cling on to Two Faced Dibia's fame. She found her fame. It's not easy to marry somebody like Two Faced and still be popular on your own. Animakoli, I respect you. You did not get carried away in your husband's shadow. You did not get carried away in Two Faces' shadow. You found yourself with or without Two Faces. And Macaulay move. <laughs> that is what you should be as a woman. Be an Animacoli, so that when Two Faces leave, with or without Two Faces, and Macaulay will act. With or without Two Faces, and Macaulay will eat. She is not under her husband's shadow. You think that a lot of women are submissive to you because they are hiding under their husband's shadow. That shadow is based on what the man have to give to them. The man's name. The man's societal value. That's why some women are still with you. They don't love you. They are just using your shadow to project themselves. So this video is for Anima Colley. I respect you. I give it to you. I don't know you. But every time I watch your story, the one I know, I say, Kai, this woman, they try yo. As for you, Two Faced Divya, all I feel Two Faced Divya need is prayers. He needs to pray. He needs to ask God for forgiveness. He needs to ask God to make the karma to reduce. Because Two Faced Divya, you are going to face consequences for every pain you have put all those women through. For every sleepless night you have put all those women through, you are going to face it. So anything that is happening to you now, just accept it in good faith and be praying. All you need at this point is pray. You need to be in church to face the Dibia. Because a lot of you women, a lot of you men who go about impregnating different women, thinking you are suffering them, you are jumping from place to place. You think you are punishing women because you have manhood, because you think you have money. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm waiting for you at your old age. You know, karma is so sweet when you are old, when you cannot walk, when you start having that your diabetes, when you start having that your prostate cancer, when you can no longer move your leg, your leg is big, when you're on that wheelchair. That is when your karma is sweet. <laughs> oh, that's the reason why you want to marry us, so that we can come and push you on the wheelchair after disrespecting us in our young age. Oga, your karma will come. Your karma will meet you. So what am I trying to say? Two faced Dibia. Anything you're facing today is your karma. It is the consequences of the decisions and the mistakes that you make. Please leave your wife alone. Dear Two Faced Dibia's brother, leave Anima Kali Dibia alone. That woman has tried for your brother. Even your sister will not take the things that Anima Kali has taken. Even your sister, Two Faced Dibia's brother, this message is for you, will not endure the things that your brother has put Anima Kali through. She deserves some accolade. With this viewpoint of mine, I hope I've been able to teach you something on this video. I'm not a feminist. Never will be. I'm a factual woman who have been through pains, who understand societal pressure and value. I'm a woman who have learned how to say no to rubbish. I'm a woman who have learned how to say I'd rather stay on my own than be taking bullshit. You will never catch me fighting a man for money. I'd rather be single. You will never catch me holding a man in his tie for cheating. I'd rather be single. You will never catch me raising my voice. I'd rather be single. We are women who have said we want our sanity. We have chosen our mental health over stupidity and bullshit from African men thinking that they are doing us a favor by marrying us. If you are that woman who can colorate bullshit, good luck to you. We'll be here reading your stories on blog. But like I said, 
as a woman if you allow a man to put in work if you develop yourself and build yourself men will put in work to marry you when a man sees that hey this girl don't strong on her own hey this girl this girl can feed herself they will begin to put in effort they will begin to give you more that thing you are begging for a man will begin to give it to you when he sees that you can take good care of yourself that is their fear their fear simply means hey if this woman make money now what's in i won't give them what's in i won't give them so you now hear them saying no wonder you're single no wonder you're not married no man will marry you useless gay no wonder you're single you're influencing single people mm. a lot of men are using that statement of marriage so that the, you as a woman will not realize how powerful you are as a woman you are powerful you are powerful there is something inside of you a, a lot of men do not want you to realize very few men very few men want you to realize how powerful you are so men don't want you to understand your power so as a woman if you are opportune to watch this video hey stop allowing this man put you in a bottle stop allowing this man project their foolishness to you my darling they will leave you they will cheat on you they will have different baby mama and they will not still stay and after all these things they put you through their family and their friends will still blame you society will still blame you they will still insult you after all that you suffer 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 after all those nonsense that you take when the marriage scatter they go still say now nah, you know if you stay for husband house hey! <laughs> you see so please if you're a woman out there and you're watching this video don't be pressured no stress yourself just they do your thing any man will like you go come around come marry you but any man won't marry you make it put in effort to you i quickly want to talk about something before i go do you know the reason why a lot of women don't like women women do not love women because they see a man as a price men have been able to project themselves as a price to women so everybody is fighting for that price so when you leave a man a woman will be wondering why will you leave this price that i'm fighting for me when they find man this one living own that's the reason why a lot of because men have been able to project themselves as a price they are not price men are not price <laughs> they're not When you have this understanding as a woman you will stay on your own you will love your company you will love yourself you will love your being they are not price you that finally won the price how far it's just like 10 women dragging for a man you that finally married him are you okay okay let's use animal collie animal collie finally married two face is she <laughs> she's even the one that suffered amongst all the women that two face impregnated and Macaulay is the one that is suffering more you don't know <laughs> other women that two face edibia impregnated are enjoying yourself and Macaulay is the one carrying the baggage on her head now she suffer pass she will finally win that that price that man that you are dragging for you are the one that will suffer it that's the reason why side chicks are enjoying more than a lot of married women mm some side chick are benefiting more than you because you think you have won a man is not a price they are not prizes they are human beings they are not a price so stop allowing a man project himself like a price that's why women keep fighting one another because all of them are fighting to win that prize that man you will see 10 women dragging for one man oh god damn it that's one thing i have never done in my life i will leave the man for you take it, take it. <laughs>